In fact, Bayer introduced this legislation last summer, and that was before those four students were killed inside Oxford High School with a gun that prosecutors say that 15 year old suspect brought from home. If your kid finds the gun and takes it to school and, and shows everybody this, that's a misdemeanor. And under a four bill package, Senator Rosemary Bayer and her co-sponsors introduced this week, if the minor were to use that gun to hurt themselves or someone else, that's a felony. The bills touch on varying degrees of safe gun storage violation in hopes of deterring future tragedies like the one on November 30th at Oxford High School. The suspected shooter's parents have been charged with involuntary manslaughter. Prosecutors say the 15 year old suspected shooter brought the gun from his home in a backpack. We have to change the story here. We cannot put our kids at risk every day. The bills, if passed, would also require gun sellers give a written warning to buyers at the time of purchase, showing they're aware of the new safe storage rules. According to the Gifford Center, Massachusetts is the only state that requires all guns be kept locked away. Other states have rules specifically for handguns to be locked away, but not Michigan. It's really time for Michigan to join, you know, the other states that are doing this. Josh Horwitz with the Coalition to Stop Gun Violence notes that 80% of school shooters get their gun from home. Bayer and her co-sponsors have an uphill battle in Lansing, where she says Republicans have been slow to support this effort. I'm never hopeful. So this bill still has quite a long way to go in Lansing. There is a hearing scheduled for next week to talk about which bills will be up for discussion. Bayer maintains, though, the goal of this legislation is not to take guns away, but to make gun ownership safer for everyone. Much more to come on this. Reporting live this morning, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. Yeah, safety the key thing here. Thank you for that live update, Jen.